Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 23rd of February. We have some new mods. We have some very interesting updates today. They are as follows. From top left, the Dreistenhof map by Richie F has had an update. Agra TSZ by Zoli708 is back on the mod hub with an update. Warning Eureka Farms by TNT Modding. I mentioned in yesterday's mod review, TNT is back. He's allowed to up, to up uh, load to the mod hub again. However, the update for Eureka Farms says removed unrealistic equipment fixed compatibility issues with xbox if you're on xbox and i think it's the issues with the roads you still having grass instead of roads if you want to upgrade and get roads instead of grass you will lose all of your unrealistic equipment i, I believe as far as i can tell he's had a bit of a slap on the wrist and he's had to take away the stuff that was unrealistic if you want to keep that do not update that map unfortunately i think it's going to be the same on all the others the new ones coming out won't have anything unrealistic in it and i think blue mountain valley will probably get an update as well um farming legend by fernand 24 has had an update that has now got a train added and a couple of other features which will be worth having a look in the um change log but it has had a train added the rossell mash neva pack by backy the lizard tm 14 and 17 series by slight chest modding that's had some color upgrades and things put in the dog 65 by ja modding and the man man transport pack by bd modding the john deere 6m series 2020 blau by blauer the field creator pack by tf 2020 mods the micheletto am19 by realistic farmers has had an update part of that update is increasing the capacity um there's a two floor a three floor option i think it said did it say about a fourth two and three floor models have been added so there's different capacities now the two floor will do 32 cows 60 pigs or sheep the three floor will do 144 pigs 96 sheep uh but doesn't mention cows we wouldn't do cows because the roof would be too short for them so yeah capacities have been increased on that the load king distinction tandem by central alberta modding um and mapping the gas station by Edge Gaming, I think that's new to console, that's why I put new by it. And then next to that, we have got a new Seasons Geo Bavaria by Z84. Those are all the updates for today. So, in front of me, a um, bit of a slow day at the office today. You'll see as we go around, but I'm going to do the mod review anyway, it's the mods are here. This is the Water Tap by Vergamini Modding and Lost Gamer. It's a water tap. 2.02 megabytes download, two slots on console. Once you've bought it, the water is then free that comes from it. It has quite a fast fill rate, actually. It's, it's quite a small hose, but I used it for the animal pen that we've got over there. We're going to have a look at it in a little while. And its natural flow rate was pretty quick. This you'll find under placeables and miscellaneous. The water tap, only 500 to buy. And place quite small, so it won't take up a lot of room. Slot count goes two to one if you place multiple ones of those. That's by Vergamini Modding and Lost Gamer. Next, we have a shed. And the title of this, um, uh, this mod review today is Absolute Sheds. We have got a lot of buildings today. 2.37 megabytes download, seven slots on console. This is by Kuxi LS. Small wooden shelter, nicely textured and detailed. Everything seems to have ivy on it these days. Polish buildings especially, but for some reason, yeah. Just, I suppose it adds a splash of colour to it, doesn't it? Got a pallet inside and a hammer, just in case you need the hammer. Under sheds, 2,100 to buy. Slot count drops from 7 down to 1. It's, you know, like I said before, small machinery... Anything like pallets, those kind of things. Um, just want to check, actually. Is this Seasons Red? I'm just thinking for bales and things like that. Ah, oh, doesn't support Seasons. So potentially you might get rain through it or snow and that kind of thing. So it might, might not be as good for bales, but it might be fine for machinery and those kind of things. 
Next, we've got the Open Shed. This is 4.17 megabytes download, four slots on console. This is by Majkalu, I think it is, Majkalu. Slightly larger than the previous one. Looks like galvanized legs. Corrugated roof with wooden supports. No lighting on this one. It wasn't on the first one. No lighting on this one either. A little bit bigger. You'll get slightly larger machinery underneath this one. This one, let me just double check. Works with seasons. That's great. Under sheds. There we go, open shed, 7,500 to buy. Slot count drops down from four to one. Next, we've got the metal shed. This is 14.21 megabytes download, 12 slots on console. This is by FS15 Mapping. This is seasons ready. I don't think there's any lighting under this one either, but this is a much larger scale. Nice detailing on the uh, their eye beams, aren't they? Yeah, I-beams, they're not C's, are they? Yeah, on the I-beams and construction. Fairly large foot, large footprint, but plenty of space under that for large machinery as well. Nicely detailed. Under sheds, the metal shed, 36,000 to buy. Uh, slot count will drop down from 12 to 1 for any subsequent ones you buy after that. Next, we've got a Polish Barn. This is the medium Polish barn. This is by Rafael5211, 8.25 megabytes download, 14 slots on console, compatible with Seasons mod, nicely detailed, lots of texturing. See what I mean? Loads of ivy. Doors open and they are drive through. Again, nicely detailed, rust on the hinges and latches and those kind of things. I think the small gate does open as well. Yep. And as we can see, there is lighting inside. The switch for which is just over here. Like that. Nice detailing inside as well. And like I say, drive through so we can open up to the sides. Let's get the light back on so we can see a bit better. Very nice. Guess where this is? Under sheds. The medium Polish barn, 22,000 to buy. 14 slots goes down to one if you buy any subsequent versions. What I'm going to do, though, we'll look at the next one while we're here. This is by the same modder. This is by Rafael 5211. This one is the Polish barn made of hollow bricks. This is also compatible with Seasons mod. It's 15,000 to buy. It is... 7.67 megabytes download, 15 slots on console, which as you can see drops down to one if you buy any subsequent ones. This is under sheds as well, and you'll find it around the back. You can definitely see the style that's done by the same modder. But a slightly different look, slightly smaller this one as well. This one is also drive-through. Please open. There we go. With lighting inside. And we have the light switch on the end wall on this one. There we go. So yeah, Polish barn and made of hollow bricks by Raphael5211. Next, we've got this. This is the medium pig shed, although on the website it says medium pig shed. In the mod tab or the store menu it says pig enclosure. Just in case, I mean sometimes you have to kind of match up the pictures. You go through and think, hang on a minute, that's not what it says in the mod tab. But it, yeah. it will hold 40 pigs. It is 9.06 megabytes download, 22 slots on console. This is by Gamer HZS FSH. Nicely made, not a bad size. Triggers, very nice and easy to find on this one quite clear and you can see where they are water trough is just here for your water needs dialog box is marked here just in front of the doors for sell three now buy sell load or unload this door does open and close nice animation on that with the latch opening and closing too 
We can open this gate on the inside as well if we want to. If we want to simulate going in to check on the pigs. This door does open and close as well. Light switch, easily marked. Please work. Did that just work or not? Looks like it. Press it again. Come on. There we go, lights have come on again. And on the outside as well. When we head on in, and the feed trigger, I got it to come up just about here, but the feed trigger is in this section here. I think that opens as well. Yep. So you can see the feed troughs just there. Then your straw bedding trigger is just here. And that fills in out there. These doors open at the end as well. More ivy. Uh, and this is where you'll find your slurry point, just there. And the manure point, there is a little bit in there. So it's automatic, you haven't got to muck them out yourself. Just there. Very straightforward. It's nice when you get one that's not <laughs> overly complicated to find all the triggers and points on. This is under animal pens. 25,000 to buy for 40 pigs. That's not too bad at all, actually. That's pretty handy. Uh, slot count drops down from 22 down to 2 if you want to place more than one of them. And then, obviously, if you go in through the menu here, your pigs will be there under pig enclosure. Everything's looking great. So there you go. That's the medium pig shed or pig enclosure by Gamer HZS FSH. Next, we've got these. These come together in a little pack. This is the small grain silo, 9.11 megabytes download. 12 slots on console for the main silo, 9 slots on console for the extension silo. This is 25,100 litres, I think. It's designed for small farms. That's what it says on the Mods Hub. Small capacity. This will do you, your, main, your main crop types. We'd also have the ability here to pack it away like so. Or if we go back onto that marked error press circle, it puts the pipe back out. I mean, the other indication it's for small farms as well is that auger pipe is very low. You're not going to get huge trailers underneath that. So for putting into something, I may, you might get away with certain conveyors possibly um, to unload from that. Nicely detailed. I like all the rust and stuff on it, the weathering effect on it. One thing I did find, though, which I thought was odd, considering this kind of comes as a pack, and that's the extension silo. I couldn't place that extension silo any closer. I tried to do it to this side I tried to do it I just that's as close as I can get it all the way around it was kind of about there on this side admittedly I've got another mod on that side but it could be maybe that that's causing the problem but I, I couldn't get it to go any closer than it is um, which is unfortunate but yeah like I say very nice and detailed under silos so the grain silo itself is 10,300 to buy yeah 25,100 litre capacity and it will do uh, wheat barley uh, yeah, oats and canola, uh, soybean, sunflower and corn. And then the large, well it says large silo extension, it's a silo extension, same size, 25,100 litres for 5,200. And they both come together. Very nice. Um, did I say it was by? I didn't, did I? That's by Didec96. Apologies. Didec96, there you go. That's by Didec96. Now, this was under updates for today. Um, this is the gas station by Edge Gaming. 19.51 megabytes, I think it was, to download. 25 slots on console, so it's fairly high. But the reason I think it's new, because it does say support seasons and course play six and stuff like that. The change log does say, which is what the update would be, removed and replaced unlicensed brands to make it available on consoles. So I'm assuming, I don't remember seeing this one before, and it has got some branding, but this is approved, I would imagine, because that's got Deutzfahr. Keep calm and Deutzfahr is the best. Keep strong and drive a fence. Keep calm and love John Deere. 
And then we've got the Farming Simulator 19 Alpine Farming Expansion on the side of the bin just there. So I'm assuming that had other licensed, unlicensed brands on it that it wouldn't allow on console. But very nicely detailed. Like you get right up close to it and it doesn't blur or anything like that. Even, you know, you can even read all that stuff on there. Insert card and remove when prompted. That's amazing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a fuel pump. You can come and get your fuel here. I think the lighting is automatic. Um, it does say a stylish and sleek fuel pump for your farm with underground tank. You pay a 5% fee for delivery of fuel. It also connects to water. So no more driving into rivers and lakes to fill up your water tanks. Water you get here is also free. So you can get fuel and water from this. I'm glad I read that because I just I kind of automatically assumed it was just a fuel pump. I haven't tried it for the water actually. Bear with me momentarily. I have still got the water tank from when I did the um, pigs just now. So hopefully when we come alongside this here, start filling. Press L3. Diesel R. That's weird. Oh, that's for the lorry, isn't it? I wonder if it will do it for the... Oh, there you go. Water. So, yeah, diesel and water. That's pretty cool, actually. Haven't come across that really before. So, this is found... I'm pretty sure this was under placeables and miscellaneous. Yeah, only 5,000 to place as well. Slot count will go from 25 down to 2 if you want to place any subsequent ones. Um, and that's by Edge Gaming. Very nice, that. Uh, next, we have got this. It's interesting. I came across one of these recently watching um, Tom Pemberton's Farm Life video. And they were doing their silage work. And the guy had a telehandler with one of these. I'm, I'm sure we've had them in game before. I'm just I'm racking my brains, but uh, this is the Pusher Fork by Fred Modding. 1.6 megabytes download, two slots on console. Um, it is designed so that when you are um, compacting bunker silos and that kind of thing, silage clamps with the grass or chaff, or whatever, you squash it all up, and then if you've got any stuck on the front, you then push the front section forward to get it all off the end of the fork. Um, this one only comes in this colour. Uh, you'll find it under tools and I think it was miscellaneous. The pusher fork, 10,000 to buy, 2,500 litre capacity on it. Slot count, count goes down from two to one. And it will do your forage crop, crop types, um, grass, hay, straw, manure, um, silage and wood chip. I think that one is, isn't it? Um, that's weird. I, there we go, that's better. Um, no colour options available, it comes just like that. It's three-point link mounted, so it will go directly onto a tractor or something like that, unless you've got a vehicle with an adapter, and there are a few about for telehandlers and things like that. So what should happen? L1 and circle, I can lower the whole thing down. We then scoop up where we want, raise it up, and it tilts the whole thing backwards, so when you're transporting it, everything's absolutely rosy. Uh, then L1, R1, and I think it was it right stick up and down. There we go. That's cool that. I like the animation on that. Unloads pretty quickly as well. So L1, R1, right stick up and down. The Pusher Fork by Fred Modding. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Marvellous. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And it's the lizard. UB11. I'd be a lot older than 11. That much I do know. Uh, this is a subsoil though. This is by DMG Modding. 3.82 megabytes download. Four slots on console. This should, and again, I may be making an assumption here. This should give you a ploughed state with a cultivated look. That's what the subsoilers usually do. Uh, sometimes you get the odd subsoil that gives you a ploughed look as well. Um, yeah, nicely made. I think it's a, I want to say 3.3 .3 metre. I think it's a 3.3 .3 metre. 
this you'll find under subsoilers. There you go, the UB11, 8,000 supply, yeah, 3.3 .3 meters wide, requires 130 horsepower, will run at 7 miles per hour. We can change the main color to anything on that pallet. Let's hook it up. Drop the whole thing down. There we go. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? <laughs> so, it is a subsoiler, and usually they give you a ploughed state and a cultivated look. This one is giving me a ploughed state and a ploughed look, but it is under um, subsoilers. I mean, technically, it's a plough, I guess, because it's giving me a ploughed look as well, albeit a chisel plough rather than a mould board plough. But there you go, the Lizard UB11. I think that's it for the mods for today. Pretty sure it is. We have a new map out today called Hills of Italy by Miki Mapper. I will try and get onto that this evening, but it may not upload till tomorrow morning, uh, I think. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.